you know it's really um, it's 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 challenging to make a determination at this point because we don't really have long term data with both the um, both these groups of drugs i think the key thing is or else i should say the key thing that we know is that an immunological approach works right so we have always been worried that the immune system in myeloma is going to be so beaten up that it's not going to respond to drugs that activate the immune system um we certainly uh, were disappointed with the results with the checkpoint inhibitors, um, though that might have been due to a variety of other reasons. But um, with CAR T cells, at least we knew that that we can take the autologous T cells out and um, manipulate it and put it back in and make them actually react to the tumor cells. Now with the bispecifics, um, we clearly know that the uh, T cells, even without having to be taken out, still retains the ability to react against the tumor cells. So the fundamental proof of principle that the immune, sy the immune system in a patient with myeloma can be uh, manipulated, so to speak, to recognize and react against the tumor cell is the most encouraging part of the information from all these trials. The second piece that is going to be most important in terms of distinguishing between the two is going to be the durability of response, um, the toxicity profile, um, uh, and also the cost of the therapy, right? So I think with the CAR T cell therapy, the, uh, we know that the patients who respond tend to have good outcomes. They often have um, disease that is controlled for a year or so. That is what we saw with the BB2121 longer term data. Um, and it might be better in the earlier stages of the disease too. Um, the with the, the the problem that comes up is you know they're expensive and without a biomarker you could be spending a lot of money um, and a patient might not benefit at all. Uh, contrast that with something like bite, um, where if it doesn't respond, you know after a couple of doses and you give up, and you haven't spent all the money already. Um, so so that is going to be an important distinction. Another important thing, especially I think in the later stages, more relapsed disease, is the inability to wait for those cells to get come back. You know, four to five weeks. Um, whereas a bite, you could essentially take it off the shelf and start any time that you, just like in a drug, you can give it to the to the patient. So the and the obviously the CAR T cells going to be very limited to the larger centers, which has the ephoresis facility and so forth. Whereas bites, I think you know the community is already familiar with that class of drug with the blentumab for um, uh, for ALL, so to speak. So um, the, at least a class of drug they know um, they can you know they feel com comfortable using. So certainly maybe not the one or two people practices, but the ones which are affiliated with hospitals, they can certainly take on the uh, bites.